Hello everyone. Uh, once again, I welcome you all to my channel TechnoCube, and you are in the series of uh, fundamentals of cybersecurity, and you are seeing uh, port scanning with NMAP, right? Uh, so in the earlier session, uh, we had seen the uh, null scan, and in this session, we're going to understand something called as XMAX. Uh, so XMAX scan. Hi, uh, it is somehow hard to pronounce me. Uh, you know, uh, XMAX XMAX scan. Okay, so it's X mass scan. It's a Christmas scan. So let's say, right? So uh, you see the Christmas scan, or you can say the X mass scan. It is made up of uh, some flags, some TCP flag. Uh, it is consist of PSH, that's push, uh, urgent, and fin flag. Okay, TCP header of a TCP header. So let me see uh, here. The another scan is. Uh, let me clear this all, and uh, we have a X. As, uh, scan and this scan is made up of PSH, uh, URG and uh, fin flag. Okay, these are the TCP flag by which you know this uh, XMS uh, scan consists of. So uh, uh, it is the flag. These uh, are the TCP flag. Uh, TCP flag in the header. Uh, so source. It means the attacker send uh, this fin uh, PSH and URG uh, to specific port. In our case, it is port 21, right? I'm sending these uh, fin PSH and uh, URG uh, flags to a port 21. And when uh, attacker machine, if a port, if port is open, by the way, if port is open, then the destination then the destination discard this packet. Okay, it will discard the packet and no reply to source is given. No reply to source is given. The syntax is very much simple. It's nothing. It's a similar syntax. Nmap dash s dash uh, sorry dash s x capital S and then again the same thing uh, dash p twenty one one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one one seven dot one thirty four. So this is the thing. Now let's see in the in the machine uh, the same syntax dash s there's x dash p21 192.168 i'm sorry 117.134 uh, so uh, let's see this so when i do this and uh, it will take some time to you know um, comes up we'll take the so uh, keep that in mind that my firewall is off right now all right so you see as I told you, as it is written over here, that destination will discard this packet, and you can clearly see that it is it has discarded the okay, it has been discarded the uh, this uh, this request, and a reply is not come from the target machine. So it's a, it is it is, the request is not come right. So it completely discarded this XMS scan uh, as because my firewall is right now uh, I mean off. So when I you know when I on this. You will see a different different result. Why different result? Because my firewall will, you know, tell the attacker that uh, it is open, but it is filtered by me. So I'm not going to, uh, I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna enter your packet into the target machine, but I'm going to block you here. So again, the same command. Let's see. You will see it will come as uh, open and filtered. Same thing. Yeah, you see, open and filtered. Now, you see, it's just a matter of fact that uh, we can understand that the target machine is using some kind of IDS or some kind of filter with the help of this command, okay? Just to check that target is ha target has some protective measure or not, you can make an XMAS scan and you can just, you know, send it to the target machine. If you get uh, open filtered, you will understand that, yes, my target machine has some protective measure, right? And if the firewall is completely off, then you will get 21 TCP closed FTP, right? It is closed. It is not listening to that service. However, it is open, right? You can you can try this. If you get if you not get any result in this state with the help of this syntax, right? Uh, uh, if the firewall is off, then you can uh, go ahead, uh, you know, and type this command if firewall is on. So you need to see uh, this thing. If you get a closed connection then you can assume that there is no firewall at all. There is no protective measure. In that case, you can go ahead for TCP scan, okay? 
uh, there we go but uh, if the firewall is on then you will get open filtered in that case you cannot go ahead with the tcp connection because it is going to be logged inside that protective measure like ids and far right so uh, this is just to enumerate the you know information about the target is there any uh, ids or something like that okay just to check it out that now the next question is saying how do i check in the wireshark can i can i get uh, can i can a network administrator can find this xms uh, scan in the in the log in the network log yes they can do it how can they do it it's a simple thing see um one more time i'm gonna start this wireshark here and continue without saving and let me try uh, one more time the command hit enter and you will see uh, when the result uh, comes back you just need to find the three flags one is fin urg and psh okay and you will see that And there you go. You see, so just there. You see here, 130 is my Kali machine, and 134 is the XP machine. It's a TCP connection, and there we go. 21 port number, fin PSH urge, right? So this is basically the XMS uh, scan, uh, and, and that uh, you know this target system network administrator had find it out that yes, 130 is the culprit who is scanning my system with a xms scan so i'm going to block this ip address 192.168.117.130 so this is a point that you have to look after that you know wireshark is a very uh, pretty tool that can uh, uh, analyze various things so uh, this is a you know point that network administrator can learn uh, they can find this uh, three flags and they can just say that this is a xms scan who is performing by some attacker okay so this is uh, the scan that you had learned in this session i hope uh, you like this if you like this video please hit that like button and if you are new then please subscribe to that uh, subscribe to my channel thank you so much and if you have any doubt you can comment in the comment section thank you so much guys